Hey, what's this? A quick battle from Maximus. Indeed. So, I'm coming up against Nublov, uh, commanding Chimeria. He's going to press start. I'm going to pick Swebby. Swebby is one of my favorite factions. I want the swords to deal with the Hoplites. I want some crappy spears. I want some Germanic scout riders. Uh, I want some Germanic slingers to deal with all the elite skirmishers. And you can see my problem here is that I just have so much remaining. I'm just going to go safe and go for another spear levy. I think this is well suited to deal with the Chimeria. On Bomb Citadel, not the best map for Swebby to go up against Chimeria because there isn't really any forest. And, but neither of us have a neither of us have a resistance to to heat, and I believe Bomb Citadel is a desert map, so it has the heat effect in place. I am going to be starting on the hill, and this is this is a terrible map because no matter which way. Um, I'm starting on the hill here, so I can either hill camp, which is not very fun for my opponent, or I can engage here, which is going to allow my opponent to have the terrain advantage. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to try to make it as neutral as possible, but my opponent still has the all the advantages. Um, I'm going to be fighting uphill or hill camping, so I don't want to do either of those things. I want to... Um, move up on the flanks of my opponent just create a formation first so yeah, the formation is going to be a bit jumbled at the beginning there but I doesn't really matter because um, because I'm going to reform obviously so I'm going to keep my Germanic scouts here and then I'm going to start the battle. So he's starting on one side, I'm starting on the other. Uh, I can't really get a terrain advantage from where where I'm positioned. So let's just uh, move up on this ridge right here before my opponent does. Put some pressure on his cavalry. So he has citizen cavalry, noble horse archers, picked peltasts and Chimerian heavy archers together with some hoplites. Now he is going to be able to reach the elevated terrain before me. What that's going to necessitate is that I move up here instead and move down there. So I'm going to feint that I'm interested in taking this position. Then I'm going to move off to the flanks because that is going to allow me to engage him from an advantageous position. Just have to keep kiting missiles for a while against his uh, horse archers there. Hopefully try to do some damage to the shielding citizen cavalry. What he's doing here is actually pretty smart in creating sort of a shield for his noble horse archers with citizen cavalry. Quite like that. I'm just going to keep running circles around him now. Because my uh, Germanic scouts are not super necessary at this point. I want to save some of them for the picked peltas and the Chimerian heavy archers, but... Um, they aren't really going to be able to take care of uh, of Chimerian heavy archers very reliably, I think. So let's try, try to split them here, and this is perfect for me because now I'm going to be able to engage the citizen cavalry. And then just try to tire out his cavalry a bit. So, oh, turn around. Oh, just made it out. Just made it. No, actually I didn't. Oh, that's annoying. And here I have uh, my wonderful skirmish mode on. So that's going to create some problems for me. But I did manage to disengage over here. So just need to watch out that I'm not engaged. Okay, so if he's, he's going to just push up here, that is perfect for me actually. Send my spear levy out to deal with his... Well, his cavalry is away. This is perfect. Um, so, I'm going to send up my... If he wants if he wants to rush here, I will not stop him. Uh, 
What I'm going to do is I'm going to send my Spear Levy in first. I'm going to Ariovistus. Then I'm just going to rush the hell out of him. Tie down his skirmishers with my levy. I don't really need my skirmishers at this point. So I should be able to smash through his front lines there. Yeah, and at this point... It's just a matter of... Uh, <laughs> watching my opponent drop, I guess. Or... No, he's not going to drop. That's good. So, send one of my... Spears out there to deal. And like I said, I don't really care about the uh, slingers in this case. It's great that he's using his cavalry to take care of my slingers. Instead of rear charging, so... That's actually good for me. Uh, no problems there. Still, it's only citizen cavalry. But what I'm going to do here with my own cavalry is I'm going to give him a good rear charge here. Chase away his horse archers. So, rear charge. Pull out right away because I don't want to be fighting against uh, 30 bonus against large. Spear Levy managed to hit some of his guys. If I just flaming shot the hell out of these guys, then they should rout really quickly. So, with this Chimerian build, I get that my opponent wanted to sort of engage me early, but. Uh, flaming Javelins, Rear Charge, Chain Route. Uh, I sort of get that he wanted to engage me early, but I just think he engaged me way, way too early. Uh, because... Uh, he ne really needed to do a lot of damage with his uh, skirmishers in able to take me on. And here the Flaming Shot, Rear Charge, just destroyed his, uh, destroyed his entire skirmishing line. Let's try to do it again. So thanks for the game, thanks, always nice to have uh, cordial opponents. So it looks like the he left the game, decisive victory, decisive swabby, and yeah, that's about it. So um, I was planning to play a swabby, my opponent obviously picked Chimeria. Uh, it's going to be just super hard for Chimeria to do anything about Swebby, especially when Ariovista sits. I don't think there is much that my opponent could have done with this type of build. He could have skirmished a lot, but it's just a small army. Um, you can see I only killed 668, and the reason why the entire army basically folded that quickly was because of the Germanic scout riders coming in from the rear with the rear charges and then... Uh, and then flaming shot and that's going to be enough to break the break the enemy when the army dies so you can see nothing really did well i was able to box in the the uh, army of nubla very effectively but thanks for the game thanks for conceding defeat and not just uh, rage quitting but looking at our two armies here i don't think there's much that chimeria can do to combat swebby uh, not not a decisive enough skirmish advantage and the infantry can't hold the cavalry can't defeat the ca other cavalry decisively enough so Super hard to do, but I just wanted to do a live battle to see how it was. I haven't been do doing quick battles for quite some time, but I don't think I'll be doing many more. Strength and honor.